Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hamilton and today we're going to be talking about Wondershare's Uni Converter app. Now this program slash app is an incredible tool that allows you to essentially make all of your video editing completely efficient. Let's just jump straight into the video. So the Uni Converter allows you to do so much when it comes to video creation, right? These are the basic tools, right? So we've got video recording you can do, video editing, video merging, so editing your videos together and merging clips with very, very nice fades all in one program. And you've got a bunch of other tools as well. And that's just half of the tools here because we do actually have an AI section that will help you with translation, text to speech, noise remover on audio, and many other features, including a background remover if I just scroll down there, right? So what we're gonna be doing in this video, guys, is actually going into this platform and just showing you how to use some of these features because it's absolutely crazy what you can do with this program. So here we are in the back end or the app of Uni Converter. And as you can see here, we do have a lot of different features, right? So we've got the compressor, screen recorder, video editor, okay, video enhancer, image enhancer, watermark remover, and subtitle editor here as well. And if you did want to burn this to DVDs, okay, you can do that on this platform, all right? So uh, they also have the more tools section where you can compress, screen record, and do a bunch of other things here uh, that will really help you with your content creation. Here we can see my files where you can scroll through all of the videos and images that you have. And this is just gonna help you when it comes to actually getting all of your stuff in one place, all right? We also have the downloader, converter, and compressor here uh, for your compressing, downloading, and converting needs. So let's say we wanted to compress a video here. What we can do is just click this button, okay? And then we can add our video. I've got one here that I'm currently working on. So we can add that video to this. And then we're gonna have all these options for our compression. You can see this video is 674 MB, which is just gonna be way too big for things like emails and messages when it comes to sending this to clients. So what we can do here is resize it if we want, okay? But we can also just compress this in it. Itself. So we can compress it down with this bar here and it's actually just going to give us a file size for our compression. So if we want to compress this a little bit, we can then preview that compression there and then it's just going to load this really, really quickly with a quick buffer. Okay, compress the video and then show us what it's going to look like to our clients. So we can see here right now that it is playing my video where it is compressed. It hasn't lost so much quality where the client isn't going to really decipher that. So uh, yeah, this could be something that I want. We can also change the format here as well to anything. If one of our clients are using a Mac or something like this, maybe you want to use a different file there. But uh, we can see here once that is once we are happy with our results, we can compress that and it's just going to get to work for us here. And as you can see, it's going incredibly quickly here, already at 5%, uh, and it is using GPU acceleration as well. What this means is you have the option to do this in the app with CPU, but you can actually select your graphics card as well uh, and use that GPU acceleration to get even quicker results. And now it's just about to finish here, guys. So after that, it's gonna go into the finished tab here. As you can see, we're gonna go over there and, and you can see here, there's a few features that you're probably gonna want to know about, right? So if we do look at this right here, we've got basic compression, where we are gonna get that file size, we are gonna get the format, and we are gonna be able to adjust this slider to essentially determine the quality of the output uh, if we are gonna send this to clients. But the AI compression is actually gonna do it a lot better Okay, it's actually going to reduce the file size between 50 and 60% more than the basic one, right? The trade-off is you're not going to know the MB uh, or the file size until the end, but you are going to get a better output. So as you can see here, this would be the result and it's a pretty decent video to actually be showing your clients because it's not losing that much quality with the AI compression. But if we do go over to basic compression here, if you do want to get a little bit more nitty gritty with it, you can actually see that we have the file size there that we can alter and we do have MP4 and other formats to choose from with this setting, okay? So that's something that's fantastic. So if we do go back to basic compression here, guys, we can see that we do have a file size of 53 MB. We can drag that up and down to essentially determine 
what we want and we also have advanced settings if we did want to tinker with it a little bit more the thing with ai compression is you are going to get pretty simple output right you're going to get the same output but uh, you are going to get a lot better in terms of compression and a lot better quality on the output. We can also take files and convert them into different file types. And as I was saying, you can enable that GPU acceleration right there. Okay, so if we wanted to take this file and actually convert it and make it a little bit more applicable to certain devices, right? We can actually click this little drop down menu there, okay? And we can change that to a different file type here. So there's many, many to choose from, whether it's MP4, MOV, okay, MKV, all of your standard file types here. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's just gonna help it run on different devices and upload to certain platforms as well. And if we go to the device tab here, we can see that it can actually be catered to certain models of iPhones or iPads and any other kind of model or device that we need. And this is just really, really helpful when you're thinking about different screen sizes of different applications, or maybe you have a video that's specific to a certain device and you want to cater to that screen size. Now, if we do want to compress multiple files at once, maybe you've got a client that has multiple videos, right? You can actually do that with this platform. All right, so you just select, the, you select it in a batch, okay? And then you just press convert all, right? So we're gonna select all of these files here, bang, bang, okay? Press open, they're gonna get into our dashboard here. And then we're just gonna choose and tinker what we want to do with those files. Once we're happy, we just press convert all. And then from that point, it's just gonna get going. You can sit back and relax and it's going to compress all of those files for you. This is just a lot better than other platforms out there. And it's definitely something that I would recommend if you are someone that solely focuses on compression when you are dealing with your clients. Once the files are done, we can actually press improve clarity if we want, okay? And we can actually enhance those videos as we showed you before. Uh, and that's a and that's something that's super, super useful, okay? So if you did want to quickly enhance it uh, after compressing it in a batch, then you can do that with certain videos. So you've still got that editing feature, even though you're working with multiple files. Another feature here, guys, is the screen recorder, okay? So this feature is really, really cool because it actually allows you to highlight a certain section of your screen to record. So if you did want to cut anything out, this is perfect for that. Let me just show you how this works real quick. So we're on the Wondershare screen here, and maybe we don't want to include the URL or any of our extensions in that clip for security reasons. So we can do that, and then we can essentially just get the resolution perfect on that thing uh, and crop it out as needed, okay? We can also record uh, the sound coming out of different headphones with this recorder app, as well as different microphone devices that are connected to our computer. So fantastic stuff from Wondershare here. They've really nailed this product. Next, we have the video editor. Now, this is a little bit simpler than other editing platforms, but if you are a little bit less on the technical side here, then this is perfect for you because you can crop, you can rotate, you can add effects and you can also improve your audio with this editing software. So fantastic stuff here. You would just put in all of your files here at the bottom left, and then you can order those as you need, cut them, all right, and then create the perfect video for your channel or for wherever you are putting your content. We can also add watermarks here, as you can see, and this is just gonna help you when it comes to making sure your content is yours. If someone steals your content, you can have your watermark on all of your videos, okay, and you can actually adjust the transparency there so it's not too intrusive for your audience. Here we can adjust the volume, so that's fantastic as well. Maybe you've got a lot of peaking or maybe you just want to bring that volume down a little bit. You can do that here in this platform and then you can simply just export the video very, very easily. Next, we've got the Video Enhancer and this is one of their AI products here. This is a fantastic product. Next, we have the Image Enhancer. While we do download the Video Enhancer, let's check it out right here, the Image Enhancer here. So we've got a thumbnail that we're gonna bring in here. We're gonna change this thumbnail to different filters and different formats for our videos. So you're gonna have AI credits when you do open this screen. Make sure you keep an eye on that and make sure you top them up when you run out, but they do give you a massive amount here to begin with. Okay, so you can see here, my thumbnail is on the screen and we can actually change this to different styles. So we've got the auto enhancer, we've got face enhancer, color correction, and many more filters here, which is fantastic. Okay, and you can see here with this face enhancer, it has enhanced my face massively, which just gets rid of a lot of 
the uh, the terrible details of my face and just makes it a little bit more smoother. So that's something that's fantastic and something you definitely want to consider when making your thumbnails. We've also got color correction here. So if we have this clicked, we can actually change the colors of our thumbnail to make it a little bit better on the eyes for our viewer. Okay, so when you are making YouTube videos or any platform that does use thumbnails, you're gonna want that click through rate high. So you're gonna want that smoothness. You're gonna want that contrast in the colors. And this tool right here is fantastic for that. We also have image upscaling, okay, so if you do have pixelation in your image, you can actually use the upscaler to make it so that pixelation disappears, and this is all thanks to AI, massive breakthroughs in AI over the past few years, and that just allows for products like this to come around and really just help all content creators across the globe. Now, if we head back to the video enhancer here, we can actually enhance videos in the same way that we would enhance our thumbnails. So this is our video right here. Again, we can upscale that video. We can denoise it, okay? We can change the frame so it's a little bit smoother and we can just do a general video enhancement as well. So once we've got the right setting here, what we can do is just have this so it shows a result and an original and you can see it's already much better in terms of smoothness it definitely smooths out my face here in this example and then finally we have the subtitle editor this allows you to put a transcript or automatically gets the transcript from your video using ai and then you can actually have subtitles on your video as well this is something that is massive and something that is very new to video editing of course but this is going to bring your retention rate way up when it comes to getting your youtube channel going okay if you have subtitles in the beginning of your youtube videos then it's going to up your retention massively increasing the chances that people watch the whole video right so a tool like this is massive when it comes to content creation definitely check these guys out in the description because there's nothing out there like this that is so simple so easy to use ui and it's all just right there in a toolbox ready for you to use. And as you can see here, we do have the subtitles working. We can obviously change the design and anything that we want, but in terms of just showing the product here, you can see it's very, very good. You can also edit it in the timeline if it does get a little bit off. And that is something that is incredible. And that is something that is massively beneficial to your videos. And then finally, we have the DVD burner. If you still use DVDs, then this is great because then you can uh, use this platform, use this program to essentially put, and this is great because it actually allows you to burn all of your videos, if you do have batch amounts of videos, you can then burn them onto a CD, give that CD to someone, all right? And that just helps with file transfers on a manual sense. So in summary here, guys, we do have many, many different features on this platform, okay? Whether it's enhancing your videos and images for thumbnails uh, and just smoothness of your videos, uh, or whether you need to compress your videos, edit your videos, or add subtitles, this product does all of that all in one. So definitely check out Wondershare in the description. But that's gonna be it from me, guys. You can actually check this out and try it for free. So definitely go in the description, as I said. All right, but that is gonna be it from me. Drop a like on the video, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of Wondershare, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.